We had a great morning out in the trails, and now we're back here at the kennels, and you're going to hook us up with some dogs? Yep, we're going to get you set to go here. First thing we're going to do is, this is uh, Dawson, who's one of my dogs. I just want to show you how to hook up a harness to the dog. So basically, you got a big, big side there, and I'm just going to hook him through like this. Here's Dawson, over his head. And they've done it before, as you can see. Pick up a leg. And he's quite content to let you do that. Oh, yeah, very He's very done that a few times before, I guess. Definitely. And there we are here. Just make sure his collar is uh, out in front of the harness. Okay. The harness sticks down in the back there. And he's good to go. So you can let him go, Rob. We'll pick him up in a minute. <laughs> I'm going to uh, go grab a couple more harnesses. These are for you guys. Actually, okay. for your dogs. We have and, our uh, choice of dogs? Well, for the most part, you've got Ringo and Phoenix. All right, uh, sounds good. They're on the good. other side. And you've got Mark and Don today. So if you can go find their kennels and uh, hook up the harness, and we'll check it out after you're done. You got us on the trail here, Dave, and my dogs are raring to go. Ringo just can't wait to pull. <laughs> oh, I can see that for sure. <laughs> Before we do that, what I want to do is just go through some of the, uh, the techniques of how to, uh, how to ski jorf, and then we're, uh, we're hooking up, and then we're out of here. The harness we're using here is actually a, an old climbing harness. Okay. So it's got a waist belt that comes around, a couple of leg loops to hold it in place, yep. and then a spot to attach your, your lines to. All right. Um, next thing we've got is this, uh, this clip, and it's, a, uh, it's a, an automatic release clip, so yep. if there's pressure on it, and your dogs are getting away on you, you just have to pull, and it automatically opens up like that. Excellent, and the airbag pops and out yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, oh my gosh, <laughs> look at it, hang on. So you clip it on there. Okay. Um, we're running a double line through to the dogs, because you've, got, because you've got two dogs here. All right. The next thing we're gonna add is our skis, okay? Okay. Now the most important thing to keep in mind here is control, so trying to go as slow as possible. Uh, and the biggest thing to do that with, way to do that obviously is in your snow plow, okay? Angle your, your, uh, your knees in, keep your legs bent, your knees bent like that, so you can take some some weight with it, okay. and uh, and just go slow. If the dogs get uh, going too fast, um, <laughs> fall down. You know, <laughs> it might happen anyway. That was my first question. How do I stop? Whoa, <laughs> whoa works really well. Easy over works. Uh, it helps to slow them down. But okay. the best thing to do is start to put some pressure against them, some braking pressure, okay. and that'll slow them down. Okay. okay? From there, uh, other commands. If you want them to go, just a little bit of movement forward. Um, just take some of the. Uh, the, the tension off the line, and they're going to go. Just remember when they do, there's going to be a bit of a jerk because it's you know you're hooked up through your back here, right? Through your through your, through your waist. So keep the knees bent. So keep your knees bent and just be ready for that a little okay. bit of a jerk. And uh, after that, if we come to a corner, it's basically a game of chase. Your dogs are going to follow mine anyways. Chase or chance, Dave? Chase, chase, chase. all okay. chase, no chance here. You, okay. You'll be awesome. You'll be awesome. <laughs> are you ready? A moment of faith. <laughs> here we go. I have butterflies in my stomach. Come on, girls, back up a little bit. Okay, you're hooked up. Stay in your in your big uh, snowplow position. Keep your knees bent. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Go. Come on, Mark. Come on, Don. Oh, oh my God. Whoa. Easy. <laughs> whoa, guys. Whoa, guys. <laughs> easy. Tell him easy. <laughs> easy. Easy. <laughs> Good boys, easy Good on. Boys. Good, Good boys. boys, easy on. Easy, guys. Oh, it's icy through here, huh, Dave? Yeah, it's the oh, shade. Easy, what a boys. Difference the shade <laughs> makes there. Easy, Phoenix, it's, easy there. It's a rocket. Wow. Now that's something else coming down that hill. You know, I can't even get that experience. If I'm at home watching this on TV and I'm in my armchair, unless I'm strapping some sled dogs to that armchair, yeah. I'm just not going to get that experience. Um, this is this is one way to beat the winter blahs. I got to admit it. They're going to be wow. Yeah. If you know if you got a dog and you like skiing, or even if you have never tried it before, certainly get out and give it a go. Oh, it's, it's something awesome. else. I mean, so if I had any kind of dog at home, like we were talking about earlier, yeah, I can come out and try this. Have a little bit of safety equipment in mind. And yeah. I mean, what's it cost? It costs fifteen dollars for a harness. Yeah. And a couple of ropes and that quick snap of four dollars. Yeah. And you're basically good to go at that point in time. So it's, wow. it's relatively cheap if you've got the skis. It, it, it beats the heck out of just plain cross country <laughs> skiing. I mean, I like that for the, the one with nature bit and it's peaceful and all the rest yeah. of it. But wow, this just adds that little well, bit of Well, you get your dog up for a walk and it's, it's, it's rocking. Oh, yeah, it's I rocking. love dogs. So. <laughs> on through. These 
our Huskies? Are these the best type of dog to do this sport with? Well, they're certainly, that's what their breed is for, you know, sled dogs. So these guys love to pull. It's what they're, it's what they're meant to do. Um, but I've seen people out ski drawing with labs and, oh, yeah? uh, and uh, you know, basically just your normal house pet that likes to, to run right. and will pull a little bit. You don't have to actually pull as hard as these guys do, see what they're skiing, but uh, so there's all kinds of dogs that get out there. Do they need a special diet to keep up their energy? Well, these guys certainly do. I mean, our dogs here are running, the dogs that we've got now could easily run, you know, 60 Ks in a day. Oh, really? Huge amount of, uh, of time, uh, or, uh, you know, time out there and, and energy, but it's, you don't do that in day one. Right. So, you know, the biggest thing to remember with your pet is to, you have to build up to it. We start training these guys, we spend almost, uh, it takes them almost three months to get up to 60 k's. Oh, really? So you start at you know two kilometers a day sort of thing, um, build it up slowly after a, a summer of doing very little, and uh, and go from there. So it's really important to uh, to build up their, their strength and their endurance over time. Well, I think we should get a get a move on here. They're getting a little restless again. I think they're ready to go. All right, let's see if we can straighten them out. Back out here. That's it. Good boys. Come on, Ringo. Come on, Phoenix. Good boys. Good boys. Hike on. Good boys. <laughs> On through, boys. Well, Dave, besides all the bumps and bruises and sore muscles <laughs> I'm going to have tomorrow, I'm really liking ski touring. Oh, I'm glad you are. You're doing great up there. It's certainly a lot easier here on the lake as well. You know, get some rhythm going. You don't have to, you know, concentrate as much. It's great. Yeah. Less obstacles, a nice wide open space. <laughs> That's right, no trees. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> The Great Outdoorsman has been brought to you in part by Canadian Power and Sail Squadrons, Volunteers Teaching Safe Boating, Rapala Premium Fishing Gear, Crafted from Experience, Ontario, more to discover. Okay, Dave, I've stopped for snowmobile crossings when I've been cross-country skiing. I've stopped for deer. I've never had to stop for horses pulling logs. Yeah, we're into uh, a spot in the forest where we're doing some horse logging. Mm -hmm. um, back into the uh, the grassroots of, of logging, and uh, we're finding it's a lot less damaging to the forest floor. So that's what these guys are doing here, is uh, they're cutting the trees down the traditional way and, uh, and pulling out by horse. Now, how much can these horses pull? A lot. Um, I mean, some of these logs, you're looking at 10-foot uh, bolts. They're probably looking at uh, half, three-quarters of a ton. 